Hey, collective, what, how do people see you or how do you see yourself? You see yourself getting lucky with what you want to put your time and energy into and you know it's going to come out better than you expect it because you know you've been doing the work. You've been fighting for it with that Taurus energy. It's like a fucking antique. It's never going to get old of you. You know, you got the chemistry. You got the chemistry for these motherfucking en enemies too because if you let that bottle open, they going to get a blast in their fucking face about who the fuck you really are. If you watch my last video, you're going to crush these hoes. These energy vampires, the ones that like to see people cry, like to see you go through things. So these people probably thought that you never went through shit because you know how to stretch a dollar. Especially if you're not working or you on government assistance. You still know how to get shit done and make shit happen. And that's what's making them angry. And they stand a distance from you and they're going to be emotional distance from you because you don't fucking need them. Return it to your faith. What doesn't represent you? That you're not creative. That you're not just worried about money. And you know on money it say in God we trust. Which means as long as we believe in God we're going to get the money honey. You're going to get the money. You ain't no motherfucking pet to society. You balance. Everything is falling into place as it's meant to be for you. Four. What is uh, protecting you? What's important to you right now? You ain't got to go around telling people, fuck you. They going to see it in your energy because you're going to walk it like you're talking. Just like these stepkids going to see that. Yeah, the people around you might be fucked up if you have kids or whatever. But you're going to be the example to set the bar for people and your nieces and nephews and what they fucking should be doing. You're not worried about if you're gay or straight. You moved on from that bullshit. I told you you moved on from that. That's two seven fourteen. Kings and queens, deliverance and salvation is coming through. Cause that's why you're not trauma binding with these people through intimacy, and that's all this water uh, earth sign is thinking about. What situation your life is bringing about some type of opportunity? See, you starting something new, but this person still wanna be a kid and move with their private part. And I feel like with that fish, that's Pisces. They really got people giving them the wrong beliefs and what they went about trying to fuck with you. You see, now they ain't catching shit. They put that shit up. Yeah. This shit ain't cool, and now they know. You looking stupid. You done ruined your whole life because of your private part. Thought you was so fine, dumbass. You don't want to hear shit. Six. What you don't need is motherfuckers coming into your face telling you bullshit. This is why this person thought it was a challenge to play with your emotions. Uh, the more emotions that you showed, they thought that that was a good thing. They thought that as long as you was talking about them, whether it was good or bad, because this is how narcissists are. See, the good means you giving them love, so now they think they got you. That's why they move on, and they think you're not going nowhere. But when you started giving them attention, bad attention, they wanted that. So whether you give them good attention or bad, they still think they got you. <laughs> and that's why they had the game all fucked up, boo. They had it all fucked up. Because they didn't know that the more you hurt them or the more people have hurt you, that was giving you the power. That's what white witches do. The more we're hurt, we move and we build up a, a negative energy. It only motivates us to want to do more. Like, even when I was young, y'all, I was an influence on a lot of people. Even at school, girls used to sit around me like in a circle like I was the teacher while I was sitting on the bench and want to hear what I did that weekend. And I never looked at it as anything. But too, with my family, the more I got older and was taking care of their kids better than them, I was the only work one out of all my mom's daughters. I'm, I'm the baby of three girls, of a Libra and a Leo. My mom is an Aquarius. And my dad's Aquarius. My nephew Aquarius. Aries. Uh, my point is, they the more they show me they didn't give a fuck about me, the more I started reading my books. 
How to retire when in 10 years? How to retire when I'm 40? I'm going to be 42 next month. And I have all these ideas that I am connected and can't wait to do. It don't even feel like a job, boo. It's like the more I say, well, what if something happened to me? Do I really want these people to look after me? Would I leave my kids with these people? Fuck no. And that's when I, when I started building myself and want to do better. The more my Amy, I found that would just come to me to get information because she was nosy so she can go back and tell everybody else. The more I realized my uncles and them wasn't even coming to Houston unless they, it was for a fucking funeral. The more I seen that my cousin and them thought everything was about having babies and getting married. The more I seen that everybody was on their own thing and wasn't even worried about the people they were with. You know, but like I said, you ask some of these people how they got in a relationship, it's because they was broke, busted, and disgusted. That's why the fuck they got together. Or they fell in love like this person did, and they didn't fall in love. They thought that having a baby would get more income tax or deduct tax, whatever they was having these kids for. The more I seen that they was focused on the wrong shit is what made me want to do better and depend more on my own. And at some point, I wanted to be there for them, but I was like, why? When they don't want to help me or even support my idea, want to talk shit about me or use the shit I taught them to compete with me, yeah, honey, honey. These people probably thought you had a simple job, didn't know that you was picking simple jobs so you could study and learn more shit. And I want you to think about that, huh? They did not compare to you. Hmm. Now they ain't third, third, second and third guessing about you, proud community, LGBTQ. What the fuck is up? Now this person don't want to hang with the people they was with. You have more than character. These people dress the part, but they don't. You know, I got an ain't that got land and shit, but you'll never know. She got nothing but rats running through that motherfucker. Instead of her called pet control, this bitch want to have Thanksgiving dinners and Christmas every year. Hell no. Her priorities are fucked up. Like that other girl ain't the one the Easter party and wants you to bring eggs. You started realizing that these people were just faking it to make it. That's why they was getting fake fucking results. So they didn't understand you even if they thought they did because they thought you wasn't going nowhere and they did not get and you have to understand. People that are not on the same energy or people that do not know how to sacrifice. Sacrifice put themselves in pain to get better. Downgrade. Go uh, deal with this before you get this. Be grateful for what you have before you can get it. It say in God we trust. Not in money we trust. As long as we believe in God, we're going to get the abundance. That's why I tell people they need to pray. And I can tell that they energy change when I bring that shit up. Because they don't really get that. They supposed to be working for God. And he's going to help you get what you need. But as long as you think you can pray to God and get a fucking miracle. And still ask him for shit when he's already shown you. The magic. And you still don't believe in magic or luck. The society had made it look like it was all some bullshit. You're over your trauma. You know these people are jealous of you? It's like you're over what they feel like is real. We don't believe in Santa no more around here. The Easter fucking bunny. They say they don't, but they live like that. Yes, and Sagittarius is Santa. We the Don. We make sure everybody get their turkeys and their bikes for Christmas. We make sure everybody get what they need. We keep an open mind. That's what you're doing with yourself. How do other people see you? They think you need to free yourself. They think you need to be a hoe. They can't believe you got that nice body and you don't go be a porno star or stripper. They can't believe you got that nice hair and you don't use it to put it in people's face. They can't believe that you got that nice car and you ain't just riding around in it trying to show off. They can't believe that you got somewhere nice to stay and you're not inviting every Tom, Dick, and Sally Sue over. Yeah, you're not fucking playful. You could be nice, that don't mean you're friendly. I'm going to say I'm going to help you, but that don't mean I need to know all your fucking business because you damn sure don't need mine. That's friendly ass people. People that tell you all their business and they don't even know you. Off the street and shit. 
So just imagine what they tell people about you. Now, there's nothing wrong with you telling me all your business because I'm here to give you advice. Yes. Huh. What doesn't represent you? Attraction. You don't give a fuck that these people are attracted to you. You're more than just looks. You're more than just clothes, your car, and your house. You're more than that. You have a brain. You ain't no fucking scarecrow. What's important to you right now? Huh. Very soon, you clearly deciding what you want. Staying in your community. Not being mean to people, but le le teaching their asses a le lesson because you're getting lucky. You and your crap energy, going to work from home, going to work at home, and pinching on bitches. There will be no retreat with this family or with these friends from school or from work. No intimacy with this water, earth sign. You don't have no feelings or uh, water feelings, and you damn sure don't have no, they don't have no structure or no stability, security for you to give a damn. That's what's the issue. What you don't need is no motherfucking heart to heart talk. You don't give a shit. <laughs> Children is more important to you. Having a baby is more important to you. Not having kids. And you're not going to let nobody else kids. So whoever you date, if you don't want kids, you're not best to let the other kids get into what you need to do and they baby mama drama. Uh, fuck all that. That's like Boosie say, a Scorpio. That's in between shit. So how these low vibration ass water signs and earth signs like Beyonce, Brego, how they not get it? You going to tell them like Michael Jackson, earth sign, just beat it. Just beat it. <laughs> Hope you have a good day. Let me know. If you want to have a reading, like and subscribe. And um, leave your email with your number after you do a cash app. I'll see you later.